Hey folks, and welcome to the Battle of the Brewers. I'm your host, Ross Richards. Today, we'll be putting four home brewers head to head in a competition of brewing. Three elimination rounds. Your first round is gonna be a very traditional type of beer. Round two is gonna be a seasonal or specialty beer. And for round three, we're gonna throw a real curveball at you. So good luck with that. For your first challenge, we go to Gary Brown, owner and operator of Brown's Brewing in historic and beautiful Hoosick, New York. Okay, brewers, today your challenge is to brew a traditional ale using two-row malt. Hi, my name is Bill Felter. I'm a home brewer from Esperance, New York. I've been brewing since 1998. Oh, I'm a more traditional brewer, and then from there, I like to play. My name is Steve Weingold. I'm 46 years old. I'm from downstate New York, Rockland County. I've been brewing for off and on for 25 years. My brewing style is definitely nice, clean, crisp, hoppy ales. Hi, I'm Russell Kirkland, and I'm from Stamford, Connecticut. I've been brewing for a little over 30 years. Hi, I'm William Gardner from Southern Vermont. I've um, been brewing about five years now. I would classify myself as someone who brews hoppy beers. Today I'm brewing a molasses milk stout. It's going to come in about five and a half, six percent alcohol. So today I'm brewing a simple pale ale with all El Dorado hops. Our judges today are Sandy Rhodes, head brewer at Richards and Rhodes Brewing, Mallory McGuire, food and beverage critic at the Chicago Banner, and our third judge is John Scott, executive chef at a premier restaurant specializing in craft beers. So Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about your beer? Well, I've got a molasses milk stout here. So judges, what do we think? Sandy? It's got a good maltiness. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Very low alpha acid hop, and I put a large quantity of it in the mash. I believe it is a single malt, single hop beer. So it's a smash, as Ross just said. Good color, Will. Nice and clear. I think you did a very good job. Okay, brewers, your next challenge is to come up with a seasonal brew that can be enjoyed around the fire on a nice, cold winter night. Today I'm making a scuttlebutt, which is a dark American lager. I've never done this before. I've never used hops in the mash. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa. It's a constant learning process to prevent tragedy and get the brew to actually complete. So today I'm going to brew a coconut vanilla porter. I think I might throw a little bit of maple syrup in as well, since I am from Vermont and we'll see what the judges think. It's a good dessert beer, Will. It's almost overwhelming them with coconuts. It is like a mountain's bar on crack. Oh, it's not very flattering, but thank you. I call this one the fireside porter. It's brewed with vanilla and a couple extra spices. It sounds like you're really taking the essence of the sit by the campfire. Excellent. Nice, robust porter. It kind of reminds me of Christmas. I'm sorry, but I think you kind of saw. I, uh, I disagree. I would sit outside all night with you and drink these beers. And your final challenge is to brew without using hops. Good luck with that. <laughs> the last round and judges threw us a curve. I have to brew without hops today, and that's a challenge. I think you did a good job. Nice body. Yeah, definitely crisp is a good word to explain this. You might have been a little bit upset about the whole curveball they threw you. For my bittering, I wanted to use wormwood. The bitter is a little unusual too, I think, but that was part of the challenge. There's, there's no finer example of just creativity, and that is what the home brewer is, a creator. 